Tonight's curfew begins at 8 o'clock. We are learning the city is establishing a special committee to figure out how to move forward from the unrest. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe joins us from Northern Liberties with the new developments. Howard. Yuki, the mayor said today this committee will be looking at some key issues here in the city, including poverty, police reforms, and also race relations. He said that the start of that was taking down the Rizzo statue. However, there are also people who live in many of these neighborhoods who say that they themselves need to be responsible for their actions. Tearing up and looting the buildings, that's only hurting the community. North Philadelphia in shambles after riots and looting earlier this week. My phone store, they destroyed everything. How is that helping George Floyd's memory? It's not. It's not. Shops on Germantown Avenue near the intersection of Broad and Erie are still boarded up. Mayor Jim Kenney and Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw toured the area Thursday afternoon. We have to meet folks where they are, and it can't always be in a sterile environment. And sometimes, you know, you got to come up with a plan on the back of a napkin, meaning we don't always have time to plan meetings. Interactions with locals were mainly amicable. Outlaw was cheered. As for Mayor Kenny, he said he was there to listen. Conversations were tough and direct. Just the other day, protesters were tear gassed on 76. I want them to really look at what's going on in this world right now, and I want them to really look back and analyze how the police has acted during all of this. We see them, we hear them, we care about them, and we want to try to rebuild this back up and make it even better uh, in the years to come. <laughs> But frustrations and deep-rooted issues were also on display. A photographer with the Associated Press was sucker punched. His attacker was quickly arrested. Kenny says going forward, they will meet with community, faith, youth, and civic organizations to finish the work that was started by peaceful protesters. Focused on reconciliation, focused on understanding, focused on listening. This moment is the beginning. And the mayor said that these conversations will begin immediately. He also said that as long as these protests remain peaceful, that they will not be stopped by the city. Live in Northern Liberties, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Howard.